Good evening, suspects. By now, your host should have acquainted you with the facts in the case. And of course, each of you has personal information known only to you. You should all be prepared to pit your wits against those of a cold-blooded murderer. I hope you're ready. Remember, none of you may lie or distort the actual facts of the case of which you have definite knowledge. None, of course, but the murderer, who's liable to say or do almost anything. So beware. After all, there's a lot at stake here. You don't want to be played for a fool. Oh, I almost forgot. We recorded a conversation that you all took part in only moments ago. Have a listen. Open this door. I won't be kept waiting. Hold on to your shirts, Deegan. Arnold, let the major in. Yes, sir. What's the meaning of this? I received a call from the police ordering me to be here at precisely 8 p.m. Why, I did too. Is that why you're here, Steve? Yes, Katie. I confess I wasn't much looking forward to it, but seeing that you're here too makes it so much better. Oh, Steve, that's so sweet of you. Well, I, for one, would like to get this over with. I'm to attend a reception at the Glickstein Gallery this evening. I completely agree with you, Miss Edmondson. Good heavens, Inspector! You frightened me. I didn't hear you come in. You weren't supposed to, Miss Drake. <laughs> well done, Inspector. Thank you, Major. Now, I'd like nothing better than to get this over with and send you all on your way as soon as possible. All save one, that is. Let me introduce myself. I'm Inspector Wyndham Petroff of the Boston Police. Inspector, are you hungry? Can I get you a spot of something? Yes and no, Mr. Green. Actually, I'm quite famished, but I'd prefer not to eat anything here. Uh, you see, we just got the autopsy report back from the coroner. The report on Roger Ellington. Heart attack, no doubt. Probably ate too much. The glutton never kept himself in top shape. Right you are, Deegan. Food is very dangerous. Never touch the stuff myself. Arnold, I'll have another bourbon, please. Oh, Derek. Shut up, you drunk.